here's the Apple Vision Pro. I'm going to show you how to set this up step by step. I'll show you how you can set it up using your iPhone as well as setting up manually without an iPhone. So the first thing we're going to do is connect the battery, okay? So you want to, you see like a light dot and a dark dot here, and you see a little white dot there. Put the white dot down to the, the uh, light circle down there, and just match that pointer to that right there. And then you want to, oops, you want to press down, and now you want to go ahead and turn it clockwise until you're a click and it's matched onto the dark circle, and you get a light that illuminates here, so we know it's on. From here, we're going to go ahead and put these on our head, but really quickly, when you put it on, you have the dial right here to tighten this up or loosen, and you only have two of the buttons here, okay? You have a crown button, and you have a button here for a capture video and photos. This crown button, you can tap, and you, you can also dial it. You can turn it if you want immersion. If you keep turning immersion in your environments, it'll just go, go, go all the way around, and you can go back to go back the other way, okay? I'm going to put this on my head here. I'm going to go ahead and put it down, and then go ahead and tighten, loosen up, however you want it. Make some adjustments. And now it's turning on, and I see like a pair of goggles with eye inserts in them. And it says press and hold to align. So I'm going to look, put my eyes right in there, and then I'm going to press and hold this crown button. So it aligns. Now it gets like a luminous green. Now I see a little green check mark. Now I see an Apple logo, and now I can see everything in the Apple logo is just moving around. Okay, now I see hello writing, and I see a little message. It says press digital crown to begin, okay? So digital crown, let's go ahead and tap that one time. Now it says bring iPhone or iPad nearby to get started. Now we can do it this way, or we can go ahead and do it manually, okay? If you wanted to do um, your iPhone or your iPad, what you have to do is just go ahead and bring your iPhone up to you, and then you should get like set up Apple Vision Pro, something like that, unlock the continue, and then you want to scan the QR code that's on the window that I'm seeing through my Vision Pro, okay? Now the thing is, uh, you can also do it manually. If you do it manually, it's only a few more steps, like you have to input your Apple ID and your password, your Wi-Fi, Wi-Fi passwords. There's only a few more steps if you do it manually, okay? And some of you guys, I had issues setting up mine because through my phone because you have to use your I, uh, Apple iCloud and I had issues with it not syncing, not enough storage and so on. So I'm gonna go ahead and set this up manually. Now I, I see a message, it says double click digital crown to set up manually. So we're gonna set up manually, okay? So we're gonna double click. I'm just seeing a little tutorial. This is very important to watch, okay? So you tap, everything is like this, okay? But your hand doesn't have to be up here. It can be like down by your, on your side or whatnot. Your retina, your pupils are basically the mouse pointer, okay? So, so wherever you look with your eyeballs, it'll highlight. And then if you wanna click, you tap like that, or you can use your other finger as well. Okay, so the tutorial is uh, done here. And now it says, uh, press the digital crown to set up your eyes and hands. Okay, so let's do that. So I'm gonna go ahead and press the digital crown. Now I see a little screen that says, look at your hands to set up. So I'm gonna put my hands right where those white hands are. Now it says, flip your hands over. Okay, and I'm gonna place it where I see the hands. Hand setup is complete. Now it says adjusting lighting and it gets in a little, little bit darker in this room now. Now it says look at the dot and tap your fingers together to select it. So I'm looking at the dot with my eyes, my eyeballs, and I'm just gonna go ahead and select that. Okay, now I see a bunch of dots in a circle. It says now select all the dots around the circle. So look at the top dot first, click it, and it should highlight. Look at the right one, let go down. Bottom one, bottom left, top left. Okay, now the same circles appear again in like a white environment. Select more dots to refine your eye setup. So again, I'm gonna look at one dot on my eyeballs. 
click it, next one, next one, next one, next one, next one, okay. One more time in brighter lighting, it says. So now it's like super white here, and I see all the dots again, all in a circle. So I'm gonna look at the one on top, boom, 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 boom. Just did all of them. Now the dots are disappearing. Now it says completing eye setup. And then a check mark. And here it says persona data capture how you appear in FaceTime and other calls, a personalized eyesight, okay? So you can set this up later or you can go ahead and get started now. I'm gonna go ahead and get started now. So I'm gonna look at the get started and then I'm gonna go ahead and tap on my fingers. Here's a tutorial on what we have to do next. We're gonna to have to take the headset off and shortly. So take it off. Put an eye level, and then follow the instructions. I'm still watching a video here, so it's showing you exactly what to do, okay? I think you can still hear this. Now she's smiling, smiling with teeth, raising eyebrows, and we'll all do this in a second, okay? When you're, okay. So now the uh, tutorial just stopped. Okay, so that tutorial stopped. Now it says uh, tips for best capture. That little window is up there. I'm gonna go down and I see begin capture. I'm gonna look at it and I'm gonna select it. Now it says remove your Apple Vision Pro to begin capture, okay? So now it's gonna do our face. I'm gonna turn that, turn this around. I'm gonna put it just like this. Keep your arms and shoulders relaxed. Align your entire face within the frame. Gonna give you Move Vision Pro a little bit to the right. I see my little face in there, in the middle. Slow you down see that. and try again. Align your entire face within the frame. Oh my, I can move it back a little bit. Slowly turn your head to the right. Now, slowly turn your head to the left. Now tilt your head up, then tilt your head down. Next, let's capture your facial expressions. Smile with your mouth closed, then make a big smile with your teeth showing. Now raise your eyebrows. Close your eyes for a moment. Capture complete. Put Vision Pro back on to continue. So I'm going to put it back on now. So I'm going to put these back on. Now it's starting to light up. And now I can see everything. And now it says creating persona. So it says choose lighting and you, there's three options, okay? There's a natural, studio, or contour. I'm going to leave it on natural. And then I'm going to select on next on the top right hand side of the window. Look at the word next. And I'm going to go ahead and tap on that. Now it says refine tone and you can adjust the temperature, the brightness. I'm gonna leave mine on the default. I'm gonna look at the next, the top right hand side and I'm gonna go ahead and select next. Select eyewear if you're wearing glasses or whatnot. But for myself, I have none. So I'm gonna leave that on none and then look to the top right and select next. And now I can save or recapture again. I'm just gonna go ahead and go down, look at save on the bottom right hand side. Go ahead and click on that. Okay, so now I see a window, it says optical ID. Apple Vision Pro can recognize the unique aspects of your iris to allow secure access to features. You can set this up in settings later or you can set it up now. For myself, I'm gonna set this up later. So I'm gonna look at the bottom left, set up later in settings for myself. And like another window, I gotta select set up later again. Now I have to create a passcode. Okay, so let me go ahead and create a passcode here. Let me look at a number. Yeah, I want that one, that one, that one, oop, that one, that one, and that one. And I'm gonna reconfirm my password, my password or passcode. So I'm gonna do a six digit number again. Okay, now it's uh, 
I see a little status bar on the top right hand side, a little spinning around, and now we're at data and privacy. You can go ahead and read through that, and then look on the bottom right to continue. Choose a Wi-Fi network, okay? So you wanna go ahead and choose your Wi-Fi network, so let me go ahead and find mine. So I see choose a Wi-Fi network. If you wanna scroll up or down, just pinch, and then move up or down, okay? So let me pinch and let me find my Wi-Fi. Oh, there it is right there, let me select on that. And then when I select on that, a keyboard pops up. So I see a, um, a keyboard like right in front of me. Now I can type my Wi-Fi password using the keyboard itself, or I can look at each letter and number and click each one, okay? So let me go ahead and input my uh, Wi-Fi password in. Or like I said, you can use your, uh, your eyeballs too. So I can select a letter here, there, and there, and then I'll go to join. It may take a few minutes to activate your app, Apple Vision Pro. Now I'm at the uh, window, it says safety. Go ahead and redo that. Tap on continue, look down, continue highlights, and then we're gonna go ahead and select that. Now I see a window here, it says apps and data. Choose how you want to transfer apps and data to this Apple Vision Pro. So you have two choices. You can do don't transfer apps or data or restore from, from iCloud backup. For myself, I'm gonna go don't transfer apps and data. I'm gonna look at it and I'm gonna go ahead and select that. Now it's asking for my ID, uh, Apple ID, email, and password. You can sign in now or you can sign in later. For myself, I'm just gonna go ahead and sign in later. So if you wanna sign in later, look at where it says forgot password, create new Apple ID. Look at that and then go ahead and select that. And then the next window pops up and you can look down where it says sign in later. Let me look at that, let's highlight it, let's tap on that. Terms and conditions, okay, you can read through that, you can uh, pinch it and you can go ahead and slide, read through all that. If you agree, tap on agree, top right hand side, look at it with your eyeballs, I see agree, and I'm just gonna go ahead and use my finger here to agree. Keep Apple Vision Pro up to date, okay, you can either only download auto automatically or you can go ahead and go to continue. I'm gonna to go to continue. I see continue, let's tap on that. Location services, you can disable location services or you can enable location services. Uh, for, it doesn't really matter. For me, I'll just go ahead and enable it. And you can always change that later, of course, as well. And then you have Siri up here. You can enable later settings or you can go ahead and en enable it now. We'll go ahead and enable that now. I'll look at the bottom right where it says enable. It highlights, I'll click on that. Now I gotta select the voice, there's like out of Five different voices. If you can hear that, I'm just going to go down to number four with the lady voice, and then I'm going to go to next, the bottom right, and now I'll select that. Improve Siri and dictation. You can go not now, or you can share audio recordings. For me, I'm just going to go with not now. I'll look on the bottom left for myself. Let's highlight it. I'll choose that. Apple Vision Pro Analytics. You can don't share or share it with Apple. It's up to you, okay? It's a preference. For me, I'm fine with sharing with Apple. I'll look at that on the bottom right-hand side. Select it. Next is App Analytics. You can don't share again or share with developers, okay? Uh, it's a preference. I'm fine with sharing with developers. I'll look at that and I'll select it. Appearance. Do you want small, medium, large, or extra large? By default, it's on large. For myself, I will keep that on large. And of course, you can change that later in the settings after setup as well. So I'll keep that on large, I'll look at continue, and I'm gonna go ahead and select it. Pinch the window bar to move apps. This is basically just tips, okay? So if you look at a window and, and you look kind of like down, you'll see this white uh, line show up on the bottom. And typically on the left side, you see like a little dot, where if you look at the dot, it turns into an X where you can close that window, okay? Anyway, this is like a little tutorial. Let me just click on next here. Look at the window corner and pinch to resize. So if you're looking at a window, if you look on the bottom right or the bottom left, this little white thing highlights and then you can just pinch it and just resize it, okay? I'm gonna look top right to go next and I'm gonna select that. Hold down the digital crown to recenter your view, okay? So you can always recenter your view by just holding this down, okay? We'll go to next here. Now a window here under tips to try, it says look at the top of your view and tap the little circle with the down arrow for your control center, okay? So every time you have um, the Vision Pro on, if you kind of like move your eyeballs 
up, you'll see like a, I see it right now. It's a little white dot with a down arrow. I can look at it and I can tap on that. So this window pops up and I see like four icons. The first one is like a bunch of little circles and a round circle. That's like home. The next one with like two little mountains is basically the environment. And you have one with two little uh, left, right buttons. That's your control center. And the one on the right with the, uh, the bell, that's your notification center. Now it says, look at the dot and tap to close a window, okay? So basically, if you see a window in front of you and you wanna close it, look down at the bottom of the window and a little white line will appear and a little white dot. If you look at the white dot, it'll turn into an X and you can close it. That white line, if you look at it and you pinch and hold it, then you'll be able to move that window around as well, okay? So top right, it says done. We're gonna go ahead and select on that. Now it says welcome, press digital crown to open home. So let's tap on the digital crown. And we're in the home screen and there you guys go. We're set up here. Anyway, pretty simple. If you guys have any issues like setting up or anything, just comment below, okay? Good luck guys.